Hello there, how are you? I'm Allison Davis and I wanna know how do you support your respiratory system when it needs it? Your lungs, your breathing. Um, I, one of the things I do, I have a lot of ways. Hey, Evie! One of the things that I do is a castor oil pack. And I've been doing these, um, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four or five years. I remember a few years ago, I just, the whole house went through stuff. And I mean, I had one kid after the next kid after the next kid doing castor oil packs. And I just think they're great when you start reading about them and you experience them. I think they're just a great piece, a great, you know, tool. I like to use a lot of different things for that. And I have a lot of different things, but this is one of them. And so I want to show you how you do it because it's not hard. You get your stuff on Amazon or, you know, you could get it at a health food store or something like that, but that's easy. So let me just show you what you, there is a pack you can get on Amazon and it has this flannel, these wipes, which you really don't need, but it comes with it, plus a bottle of castor oil. It's not this one, it's a different one. And I'll give you something here at the end, um, but, and you can also make this flannel, you know, you can just get, um, I mean, I would if, if I'm doing this, if I'm putting this on my chest and it's supposed to be pulling out toxins, I'm gonna, I want everything like organic and you know, so that includes this too. So, you know, this is like this organic cotton flannel, um, unbleached, I don't know if it's organic, but it's cotton flannel unbleached. It's for the purpose of this. The castor oil is organic and it's 100% um, pure cold pressed so you do want that but anyway so if you're gonna make it you know you want it like this big like like you know to just lay across your chest because that's what we're gonna do okay so what you do is you get I I use this this little nine by nine Pyrex <laughs> and I set the oven at like uh, 200 degrees low just on warm and then I just take this and I just kind of fold it to, to fit in here. See, like that. And then I just take this and I drizzle it over this cloth. And I open the cloth up and I drizzle it on the inside and close it and just kind of all over, turn it over, get it to where it's soaked. I was reading somewhere that they said, you know, use eight ounces. I don't know if I use eight ounces, but... Um, maybe, or maybe six, something like that. But you get it to where it's soaked. And then you stick that in the oven, and it's it takes like 20 minutes. That's what I've generally done. Put it in the oven, <clears throat> 20 minutes. Then you're gonna pull it out. Now in the meantime, you wanna get where you're gonna lie down set up. So I, like my kids, when we were doing it with them, I had them on the floor, kind of on a pallet in front of the TV. Um, I got in my bed and I laid out, hi guys, um, hi Beth and Greg, I laid out like, it'll stain, that castor oil will stain. So I laid out like, um, they say you lay out a shower curtain or just trash bags on whatever you don't want to get stained. And so <clears throat> I, I laid that out and then I put towels on it. So, you know, it, it was comfortable. And then just plan on lying there for an hour, minimum an hour, but you could go up to two hours. Um, so you got to get your environment set up. All right. So then you're going to come back to the oven. You're going to pull out your pan and you're going to take this with you to your place. So, you know, you got a hot pad, take this with you to your place and, um, just set it down. It won't be terribly hot. I mean, just, you know, set it on something that it's okay to set it on and then lie down and you're going to, you know, expose your chest and then you're going to pick this up and you're going to lay it across your chest and it's gonna be hot. You want it to be hot. I mean, you don't want it too hot that it burns you obviously, but you want it as hot as you can stand it, okay? Then you're going to put some, whoops, saran wrap, plastic wrap, you know, take, take your box of saran wrap up to the bed and you're gonna lay there and you're gonna open it up and you're just, just gonna tear off a piece and you're gonna lay it. Usually I think it's like two pieces, so you know, one across the top, one across the bottom, okay? Then you're gonna get your heating pad. 
So you need a heating pad that's plugged in. This is all in your preparation that's plugged in. I've got some websites I can give you, stay to the end, and, and that'll show you pictures and the whole nine yards. Um, and then you're gonna lay your heating pad that's usually they're about this big, plugged into the wall, right, on top of that. And then you wanna just get a bath towel and lay that on top of that to keep the heat in. Okay, and then you're just gonna lay there for an hour, watch TV, you know, sleep. <laughs> I mean, make sure you don't, you know, use that the alarm or something, but, and then, you know, when it's all done, you're just gonna take that off and pull it all off and kinda, you've got your dish lined by, you know, by your bed or wherever, just put everything in there and, um, and go rinse off. You know, usually you just wanna get in the shower or something and rinse off. Um, and then you can store this. I know this sounds weird, but you can store it. So like this one's mine, says mom. I have a jar with one of these, that in a mason jar for all, each person in my family has one. We store them in the um, cabinet. And you know, I, this has been around for a couple of years and you can use it, I think it says you could use it like 30 different times. So, um, so you're like, none of it's really going to waste. I mean, it's still got castor oil in there. When I use it again, if I use it again, I'll have to add, you know, I'll add a little more, but <clears throat> that is, so that's how you do it. Now, let me just tell you a couple of things about it, um, what it does and, and why you want to use this. It promotes healing. First of all, let me tell you, you're going to want to, if you're, if you're trying to support your respiratory system, like you got something going on, do it three days in a row and then don't, and then stop. And I got other things after that, but do it for three days in a row. If you're doing some kind of long-term, like working on something, you know, you might do it twice a week for a month or something like that. But it promotes healing of tissues and organs, reduces inflammation, improves circulation, especially lymphatic. Um, it can reduce constipation. Now that's, you know, that's gonna be more if you have it on your lower abdomen, which you can do. Um, improves liver function, improves digestion. Um, you could put it on your liver. If you were dealing with something liver, you could put it on joints or muscles that you have, were having issues with, or your lower abdomen if you were having like monthly pain or something like that. Um, afterwards, you know, a lot of people talk about getting a really good night's sleep. They have more energy later, um, cleaning up skin sy um, symptoms. One thing I wanna tell you, and this happened to me, um, a few years ago, we just had something, some respiratory thing just go through the house, like I was saying earlier, and I, and I got it. And so I, I did the whole castor oil pack for three days. And after the third day, I had a huge skin rash on my chest. That's not a bad thing. That was a good thing because my skin, I was detoxing and it was coming through my skin because the skin is one of our avenues of elimination. Remember, think of the five avenues of elimination. It's the word bulls, B-U-L-L-S, bowels, urinary, lungs, lymph, and skin. So I, I, you know, if you didn't know, you would look at that skin rash and kind of freak out. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Well, a skin is always a reflection of the gut. That's one thing to remember, but it's also where we will eliminate. Like if the, if, you know, if, what was happening was my body was eliminating things fast because I was doing this castor oil pack faster than it could go through the other regular areas of elimination. So that's why it came out on my skin. And it was there for, I don't remember how long it was there, at least a number of days, several days. I mean, I don't think it was there a week, but, but I knew what it was, so I didn't freak out about it. It was just fine. Um, let's see, is that all I want to say? I think that's, that's the main thing. Tell me, um, I have a, a document that has the link, the Amazon link to buy that stuff. I think that's something you, you want to keep. You want to have it in your house so you don't have to think about it if all of a sudden it comes up because it really is a great thing. Um, it has a link to that and it has um, a link to three different articles that just give you more information about castor oil packs. Um, I think one's got pictures on exactly how to do it and, and stuff like that. So if you want that, put a comment in the comments to, yeah, you do want it to send you the document. 
and I will be happy to do that and I'll be happy to answer any questions. I don't see any, so I don't know. I'm on my phone this time, so sometimes that's weird. All right, guys, thanks for watching and enjoy your Friday night. All right, bye.